system will be canceled out. This current B system, which is currently ruled over by Esau, the so-called white man, well, the scripture goes into vivid detail as touching that violent overthrow and how it would be centered around destruction, which is pretty much the legacy of Esau, the so-called white man. His very being, his very existence centers around destruction. And that's pursuant to the book of 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter and the third verse, where the scriptures refer to this man as the son of perdition. Meaning Esau's very presence down to his very specter represents destruction. Matter of fact, let's go to, this is the book of Job, the 27th chapter, and starting at the 13th verse, it says, This is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh, and the heritage of oppressors. And obviously, this oppressor and this wicked man here represents Esau, the so-called white man. Well, what we read in is his portion from Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Let's read this again. It says, this is the portion of a wicked man with Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and the heritage of oppressors, which they shall receive of the Almighty. So, again, what we read in here is... The portion, the heritage that the Almighty has bestowed upon the wicked, which by the way, when you go into that word portion, it takes you to the word inheritance. So when you consider these two sons, you have one son being Jacob, who was blessed with rulership. As it is written in the book of Genesis, the 27th chapter, as touching our Lord Yahweh through eyes.